This week on Worldwide Gaming. Check out what John thinks of Euro Truck Simulator 2. Also, John checks out the top 10 things to do in GTA 5. In Homegrown, we interview Ian McLarty about foes on X. And in our new segment, WG101, Vince teaches us Griff Ball. Hello and welcome to Worldwide Gaming. I'm your host, Ryan. I'm Liz. And I'm John. And today we're actually uh, debuting one of our new segments, Homegrown, all about uh, indie development. So I'm talking to the guys at Boson X today. Yeah, we've got some really, really cool stuff coming up. We've been filming non-stop for this. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this indie, indie development thing, just because there's so many creative ideas out there that aren't just being made by the big developers and, and all sorts of really weird things too, which I really love. All right, but as always, we're going to go to the forecast first. It's raining giant robots out there with the release of Titanfall this week for PC and Xbox. This release will be pushing the mercury on the WG thermometer. You got it. Stand by for Titanfall. Fish, I'm tracking McAllen's team in the doors. Doing okay so far. Copy that. Keep your fingers crossed. Prepare to die all over again with the upcoming release of Dark Souls 2 for PC, Xbox and PlayStation. The outlook for this one will be fair. While the alpha is already out, we're eagerly awaiting the full release of DayZ standalone for PC. Things are set to heat up as development continues. That was the forecast. Guys, ever since I first played it at TGS 2013, I've been really, really excited for Titanfall. I wholeheartedly agree with you. I absolutely love Titanfall. Uh, as a, I was a bit worried about it being just a solely multiplayer game, but I really think that they've pulled it off, especially, again, yeah, after playing it at TGS. I think it's going to work really well, and I'm really excited about just jumping into a, a Titan and just, like, blowing stuff up. And give my Xbox One a bit of a, a, a run, because um, there's not that many games out for it um, at the moment. But it also, yeah. yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 2. Did you guys play Dark Souls at all? I tried to once. And it is trying to yeah. just like die a whole lot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah. No one really <laughs> plays Dark Souls. You just try. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You do your best and have fun. <laughs> maybe you defeat the enemy, maybe not, but I guess. Um, and I feel like we need to say uh, Daisy Standalone. Yeah. Hopefully this game actually works. Yeah, it looks like it could be actually good. I think that was Vince. Yeah. So, so Vince is excited. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. always a good thing. Euro Truck Simulator 2 is not your average simulator. Well, actually it is, but definitely in its own league when it comes to simulating truck driving. You're a driver starting a business, which is of course transporting cargo from A to B. You traverse vast lands of Europe, as the name suggests, with dozens of cities you might recognise from the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy and so on. The point of Euro Truck Simulator 2 is to get behind the wheel and endure what it's like to be a truck driver. Euro Truck Simulator 2 feels excellent to play, especially if you have the right setup. It really takes advantage of a good steering wheel setup, furthermore if you happen to have access to such things as the Track IR. 
However, the downfall to this is, without a decent steering wheel, the feel of this game gets kind of diminished. Using a keyboard is average, and while an Xbox controller works, it feels far too finicky. Nevertheless, the game features a good variety of cargo to transport, from floor panels to ammunition. However, it goes without saying the standout feature that separates it from other games is the ability to run your own business. From purchasing multiple garages, obtaining more trucks, and hiring drivers, as suspect as some of those may be. You can really expand your business and maximise your profits. When it comes to upgrading or changing your trucks, you're not limited by any means. There's an expansive selection of trucks and some vital upgrades that'll make the trucks much more usable on the roads, like the engine size, cab size, and a plethora of other things, which in turn allows you to tune the truck to your liking. The mod community for Euro Truck Simulator 2 is strong, from fixes to make the game feel a bit more realistic, to expanding the land you can explore, they've really got it down pat. It's things like these that make it worth playing. Euro Truck Simulator 2 is a fantastic game if you're into simulators. However, I can't recommend it unless you get a hold of a decent steering wheel setup. It's where Euro Truck Simulator 2's enjoyment really lies and keeps you coming back for more. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying the show. Be sure to check out the WG crew on Facebook where we're always uploading funny photos and previews for next week's episodes. If you missed out on an episode, you want to catch up, or you've just joined the WG family, be sure to check us out on YouTube where we're always uploading previous episodes as well as bloopers and extended scenes. See you after the break.